afternoon, everyone. Welcome to yet another great edition of Talk of Time with Harrison Young. It is the final day of February. We are pushing spring, and we and it's it called out. It's not going out like a lamb, but you know what? I got I got a beautiful guest in here to make up for that tonight. Before we get there, I got to read the underwriters, and then we'll get the show going, and it will be wonderful as usual. We got Auto Country, King of the Used Car in Abington. We got Vape Solutions in East Bridgewater. We got MDI Auto Brokers in Repair, home of the certified used car. We got a happy spring for Mrs. Swift's and more antiques and gift store in East Bridgewater. We got Pro Tint Window Tinting in Abington. We got T. Martini and Son Floor Covering in Abington. We got Big Lee's Automotive in Abington. Repair. We got What's the Scoop Ice Cream in Randolph, where Topic Time fans get 10% off. And we got Closed Clinic Dry Cleaning in Whitman, where Topic Time fans also get 10% off. Now, thank you guys very much. And on that note, now we will start the show. Here we go. Okay, again, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Topic Time with Harrison Young. Um, as you can see, I have a uh, beautiful guest here tonight. Her name sort of reflects that. This is Beatrice Hallmark Lovely, and she's told me that's her real name. That is my real name, and yes. It's, it's certainly definitive of, you know, you <laughs> seem very lovely, and I've oh, tried to get you on the show for a while. <laughs> uh, she's a model, she's an actress. Uh, she's, um, I've seen, a, I saw a bunch of, of really cool pictures of her on Facebook, and uh, also, some I saw her in a commercial recently. You were you were doing a commercial on the Wendy Williams show. Yes, we uh, did an awesome commercial. And, and, and before you, I'm going to I'm going to ask you about that. But before you proceed with your explanation, I want I just want you to know that while you said you weren't visible for very long, I <laughs> I knew immediately that was you. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank and, you. And, and so you were on national television in that commercial. Yes, I was. Oh, great. Okay, well let's talk about that. Let's work our way back from that commercial because that's the. That's the one thing I remember, you, you know, in film, because we over the, the last week we've been conferring about what to talk about. Yeah. We've been sending me stuff to, you know, look at. Right, and, right. And, and I was—I have to admit, I do my research, and I was checking you all. You want to call it snooping? That's fine with me. <laughs> I love your Harrison. Uh, but that's what—that's the way—that's the way we talk to. It's your happen. job. Exactly. You gotta do it. And that was really cool. So, <laughs> all right, we'll talk about that commercial, and then I'm gonna—then we're gonna profile you, the, you know, in general, just going back to your childhood, and I do that with all my guests. Yeah. So go ahead, please talk about how well, you Well, that got was there. A, a commercial for a local and amazing woman who does um, wedding planning. Okay. And uh, name her. Her name is Marcine Ricketts. Oh, I know Marcine. She sent me. Yeah. yeah. Right. I, she wasn't on my show, but uh, she hooked up with um, that woman. Uh, 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 what's her name? Uh, Cox Cole. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah Sharon. I'm Sharon, talking. Sharon, I'm sorry. I'm so, thank you for. Refer I'm refer talking to her on memory. Facebook too. Right. Okay. Well, go ahead. So she's see, see if I can get to model for a company. We'll see. Yeah, go for it. Give me a push. Uh, <laughs> all right. Go ahead. You don't know what I, I know. You might go <laughs> but go for it. Go. All right. So talk about the commercial. She got you the gig. Yeah. Uh, okay. Where and where did they shoot it? So we filmed it at um, the Lakeview Pavilion in Foxborough. Okay. So I was playing one of the bridesmaids for okay, a cool. wedding. Wow. We got flowers from a local company. My dress was from um, Brides Across America. Okay, and cool. Wow. Well, I, I got to tell you something. As a, I, I've never been married. I've been to some weddings. The prettiest, girl, the prettiest girls I've seen at the weddings are usually the bridesmaids. And, <laughs> and in that commercial, you were... You, you, Is that you, true? In my opinion, yeah. And by the way, you're from Sweden, aren't you? Yes, I am. That's and correct. I, and, as, and, as a, and as we're talking now, I hear, you know, you're the... I, you, you're, a, you're a Swedish citizen. You were born in Sweden, correct? Yes. Okay. I have had people from the from on my show from all over the world. This is the first you were the first Swedish guest. Congratulations, the first guest from anywhere in Scandinavia. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. Yeah, you know, I, I don't really, want to have you here, but I. It's funny because I, I remember reading that you were born in Stockholm. Yes, okay. I was. Okay, but when I talked to you on the phone the other day, I didn't I didn't get a trace of I didn't detect a trace of an accent. But as I'm hearing you talk now, it's there. It's yeah, da. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's da. Da, right. <laughs> So I was born in Sweden. Yes. Um, my uh, mom's Swedish. Okay, my now dad's I, this plays right into what I said. We'll talk about your childhood. So let's talk. My about My dad's that. English too. Okay. So I am split yeah. right down the middle. Okay, there you go. But you, but you are European. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. 
Your father's a Brit, is what you're saying. Yeah, I, I moved you. here three years ago. Three, just three? Mm -hmm. uh, were you bi now you're bilingual, correct? Yes, I okay. am. Okay, uh, did, you, did you know English before you moved here? Yeah. I, I've heard that people in, in Sweden do speak English. Well, my dad... Um, and plus your father's English, obviously. Yeah, when, right, when so. I grew up, he felt bad. He, he just couldn't bring himself to speak Swedish to me. Okay. To his little kid, you know, so I was fluent in English from four years old, roughly. Wow, okay. Uh, I happen to know how old you are now because I also saw your date of birth on your Facebook page. I, <laughs> I happen to know what I did the day you were born, and I know it was a Friday. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's cool. Okay. It's probably more than I know, but yeah. <laughs> What's that? Well, I mean, I understand. That makes sense. Okay, so let's talk about you grew up in... How, uh, now, you just moved here to the U.S. like three years ago, you said, yes. right? Were you in Sweden prior to that? Yes, okay. I was. I got married to the love of my life. Yeah, yeah. Um, moved here, got married, got a green card, the whole shebang. Yeah, I understand. Um, okay, uh, well, just as far as your career was concerned, did you do anything in Sweden in terms of acting, modeling, and whatnot? Yeah, I did a few local things. All right, you want to talk about them? I did a couple of independent films, um, a couple of commercials. The modeling industry wasn't really that great for me in Sweden. Really? Okay. But I did some I did some good work with local photographers. Okay. And then I've just been enjoying myself more here. It, I feel like I'm coming into myself more here. Oh, that's, that's great. Okay. Um, as far as tra as far as traveling to, to pursue your career goals, where mm -hmm. have you? I mean, has it just been Boston, or have you gone other places too? Um, well, I'm hoping to make some more trips down to New York. Okay, when you say more, what, I, say, I take you've done it already in New York. You've gone to New York already. Yes, I've gone to New York to take classes and things like that. Okay. And um, just, well, this past year has been really crappy for me. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it can basically go up from here. Uh, of course, honestly. That, that, that's exactly right. And that's what we're going to try to make happen tonight here. Awesome. Yeah, okay. I love it. All right, well, so uh, you've done a lot of stuff. So let's talk about. Uh, let's talk about what you've done since you've been in the U.S. Well, first of all, you, you, I guess you, gra you probably, if you've been in the U.S. for three years, you probably graduated high school in Sweden, right? Or did you? Yes, I went to high school in Sweden and I went to university in Sweden. Okay, just University of Stockholm by any chance? No, R Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. Okay, okay, is it? Which is the major engineering college. Okay, why did you choose engineering? Just, 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 some, just, oh just something to fall back on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I probably went with engineering because I didn't know what the heck else to do. I understand. Um, so okay. I did that. And then um, by the time I realized that I, I wanted to do acting and modeling, I figured, okay, I'm closer to point A to po than point B. Right. Sorry, closer to point B than point A. Right. So um, I figured, you know what, finish it and then um, go off and do my thing. Well, I tell you, it's, it's, it's very impressive that you were able to commit to something that you, even after you figured it, you, you, you know, it was just something to fall back on. Because a lot of people might say, well, Look at this. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna quit in the middle of what I'm doing because it's because I see something. I see an opportunity lying ahead, which is a lot better. <laughs> but if you do that, then you might. And, you, and if it turns out to fall fall through on you, then you then you got nothing to fall back on. So you right. you were right. able to commit yourself to your first pro, your first priority and, and finish and see it through before you took up the other stuff, which is great. Well, I was kind of doing it um, it's just, it's side by just side. A, just just it shows. It shows you're a, per, you're a person to commit, that you can commit yourself to stuff, and that's very important in any in any aspect of life, not just act, you know anything you do. You really you're want to absolutely be right. Like that. I've yeah. always wanted to be one too. Once I start something, I want to see it through. Exactly, see it through. That's cool. Okay. So I did engineering college. It's yep. crazy, um, but I met this amazing bloke who um, really just um, encouraged me to. Uh, Go ahead, follow my dreams, yep. and um, I'm in. I'm in. I mean, my field is tough. Let's face it. Yeah. Most people who go into acting and modeling are going to realize that. Look, I'm going to need a survival job for uh, the foreseeable future. Okay, that's right. And it's it's just a fact you have to um, accept. And people say that if if there's anything else you can see yourself doing. You should not be doing acting and modeling. You should be doing that. <laughs> okay. Because, yeah, because it's so competitive. Right, right. Okay. It's so competitive and it's very, very hard. There's a lot of rejection. You just have to have a thick skin, basically. Okay. Well, I mean, but, but you obviously do and it's, and, it's, and it's paying off huge dividends for you. I'm trying. And you're still pretty young. I mean, there's a lot, you've got a lot, you've got a lot, you know, a lot going on. Um, have you done anything in music at all? You have, you have a very nice voice. Have you ever tried singing? I do sing, actually. Okay. Um, my husband gave me some vocal coaching yeah and okay. um that was basically the first i did singing 
Okay. I do sing now on a regular basis because okay. my survival job is princess parties, oh, ladies yeah, yeah. and gentlemen. <laughs> Speaking of that, are they out of Connecticut? No. Oh, because it's because you know I, I saw that too. Now that you mention it mm -hmm. on your Facebook page, yeah. And the reason I asked out is, are they out of Connecticut is because I had a couple of girls from Connecticut on the show a few years ago oh, for wow. a company called Princess Parties that was that was in Connecticut. The woman's I didn't the boss didn't come up, but her, but her, a couple of her help help a couple of, the, of her help did, mm -hmm. and her, her name was Erica Wood, as I recall. That's not the person you work for, is it? No, I run my own company. You, oh, you run it, so you're, yes, you're, you run it, you run it yourself. Okay, yes. that's great. I got into it. Um, well, I started working for my husband and his agent, and yeah. then I okay. kind of went it went off by myself. I have all the costumes. I have a couple girls who work for me. Okay, and um, it's. Massive amount of fun. It's huge. Of course it is. But with the singing portion, of course, I'm doing Elsa almost every weekend. Elsa? With Let It Go and all that comes with that. Okay. Is that f Elsa like, sounds like From Frozen. Free. That's from Frozen. Oh, Frozen. Okay. Yes, the big, huge Disney Disney When I think of Elsa, you know, you're too young to remember this, but there used to be a, a film called Born Free. Yeah. It was about some people. It was in the 60s, mm -hmm. and I was born in the 50s, so I was I'm j I j right at the end of the 50s, so I lived through the 60s, and I remember... Elsa was a lion in the jungle, and these people were living and taking, living there, taking care of her. So when I think of Elsa, that's what I think of as a, as a, you know, as a film icon. Yeah, of course, I would have loved to see that. Well, see it. It's probably it's yeah. available. Yeah, love to free. give give me the title when again I'll, I'll look it okay, up and watch free. it at home. Just see it on yeah, free. watch awesome. it at home. You can you can you can get it online probably. Yes, hopefully. So, okay. Probably. All right, so. So I take it this keeps you pretty busy now with you, you know with, you, with the party princesses and stuff. Yeah, well I'm doing prin the good thing about that job is it keeps me busy on weekends and then I'm free to do auditions and uh, other jobs during the week. Right. Okay. And I take and I take it you've been pretty successful in, with that. Yes. Having that commercial under your belt. Now how long ago did you do that? The one that was on the Wendy Williams show. Oh, that was only about two weeks ago. Just two weeks. Yeah. Well, my guess is based on that because you I mean. You, you're on national television now, and believe me, don't, don't think nobody spotted you because they <laughs> did. Because people look at bridesmaids on in commercials, and they are, you know, and they're gonna, and somebody's out there looking at that and saying, "Whoa, let's let's." Now, do you have an agent? The reason I'm that's why. Yes, I'm, you I'm, go, I'm represented. I know I'm represented by uh, Web Sweeney Murphy Talent in Newburyport. Okay, great. My okay. wonderful agent, Darlene Sweeney. Okay. Oh, okay. Now, is that is that how Marcin found you? No, she fa Marcin found me on Facebook. Oh, okay. So totally independent of your agent. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. Yes, actually. So my guess is based on what you've done so far, the agent's going to be able to get you, you know, get you some stuff too. I'm thinking, I mean, so, sooner or later, if the, Marcin got you that commercial, not your agent. Yes. Okay. So what, what I would suggest you do, if you haven't done it already, and you may have already, is to, is to tell your agent, hey, look what I just did. I was on a national commercial. Can you? Yeah, she's, she's seen it, actually. She but, well, I was in another national commercial okay, last year. Okay, talk about that. Um, we did a really fun commercial for Twisted Tea. For which? Twisted Tea. Twisted Tea? Mm -hmm. Like tea? Like drink, drink tea? Yes. Okay. Um, for no, I drink tea every day, but I've never it's, had that. It's I should a try hard, it. It's hard iced tea. Okay. Made by the Boston Beer Company. Okay. So we had a lot of fun, me and a bunch of models, filming on a lake in Maine. Wow. That was last August. Okay, so at least I was going to say. I and that'll be coming out weather. probably now in the spring. Cool. That's awesome. I can't wait to see it. Does it but is that a, is, and that's a national commercial too, right? Yes, it okay. is. Okay. So, so that'll be on TV. That'll be photos all over social media. Wow. Things like that. So. Wow. So I really, I really, I really landed a, go a gold mine with you here today. Ah. That is so cool. <laughs> well, my main hope is, is of course, narrative, scripts, and uh, okay. Acting well, all right. Let's talk about. Like all right. In, in addition to the commercials, mm. what have you? What else have you done, if anything? And you've done modeling. And let's let's talk. Let's all right, let's just basically spend the rest of the show going over everything you've done in, in addition to what you've just mentioned. See, see what you see what you can remember. And, 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 Ooh, and what if can I have I any remember? questions, I'll ask. Go yes, ahead. absolutely. Well, I've okay. done um, student films for okay. various places, and I've done independent films, um, and I have a couple of web series coming up. Okay. That you are can name people that you've worked with, because I've interviewed a lot of people on my show. There might be people that I, there might be people that you've worked with that I've had on the show, possibly. Yes, I'm doing a um, web series coming up called Mice M I C E. Okay. Um, with a local production company called DiCaprio Productions. DiCaprio? Yes. Like DiCap not DiCaprio, like Leonardo DiCaprio. No. Okay. Um, his name is Gino DiCaprio. Okay. He's our producer. It's a story um, more or less based on, on true events. Okay. You want to talk about what kind of events? 
Well, um, I'm playing a wrong young Russian girl okay. who gets basically thrown in the deep end. Okay, so basically you have to, you have to a Swedish and a Russian accent, it doesn't have much of a stretch between them. So you can Not that much of a stretch. Well, he, they've also promised to give me a bit of helping hand. I'm sure they so. will. Sure they will okay, well you okay, I don't, I I, maybe we don't, want, we don't want to give too much away, but, that, but that's pretty impressive though. Well, yeah. it's, um, it's big oil okay. and corruption and let's leave it at that for now, okay, shall we? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay. So that's what you're working, that's one of your current projects? Yes. Okay. And I'm also working on a, um, another supernatural based um, web series okay. called Hawthorne. Okay. Um, with a really fun girl called Charisma Rose. Okay. So if you Char don't. That's her real name, Charisma? Yes, that is her name. Wow. And if you don't know, don't, don't know her, look her up. She's amazing. She's an actress too. She's writing this, and I can't wait to see the rewrite and yeah. get going on this thing. That's awesome. We'll have to get her on the fun. show. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. Uh, now, speaking of that, um, have you ever written anything yourself? No, other than poetry in school, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> That's okay. So, anything, you know, I'm, I'm always suggesting people, you know, write, try to sit, just sit down sometime and just write, write anything, just your thoughts, whatever. I mean, poetry's good. I do poetry. I actually yeah. was a radio poet for many years. You're, ab you're absolutely right. It helps to just, you know, get things out it's of your system. It's therapeutic at the very yeah. least. But you, but I wrote a lot of songs when I was younger. You did? Yes, I yeah. did. Have you ever performed them? No, I've not. You still have them? You still have them yes, around? I haven't written down in, in notebooks and things like that. Okay. Well, have you ever been in a band? No, I have been invited to Gate Crash Band. Uh, it's a blues band. Okay. So we'll see. You were but invited, but you turned them down? No, I, I've, I've, so, I've um, practiced with them once, okay. one to one session so far. So you it's sang fun. with them, right? Yes. Ever play any instruments? I play guitar. Okay. Um, I used to play trumpet okay. in a big band. I left that, unfortunately. I'd love to get back to that, but we'll see how okay. that goes. Well, it's always good that you have, you see, it's great. You're very multifaceted. You have a lot of stuff that you, yeah. that, you know, that you can add in addition to what you're doing. You know, yeah, the singing and the guitar playing is really, I find that more therapeutic than anything else. Well, you, you, have, you do have a guitar still, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Absolutely. Okay. I have a beautiful guitar that my husband gave me. Do you have anything on YouTube that you've done? No. I know everybody oh, no, asks no, no, me listen, that. I'm just, you know, you, there's no hurry. I mean, you've got other things going on, but I'm saying maybe some, at some point, maybe you'll do something on YouTube. Maybe you'll create a music video. Yeah, well, I'm honestly, I'm just too shy, frankly. You think you're too shy? I don't have enough confidence in my, in my mu music to put it out there. Well, the great thing about YouTube is, and, and filming is that if you screw up once, you, 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 know, you, can, you have it all to start again. You're true. Yeah, true. I mean, I'm not talking about performing live. If that, you know, because that, you know, that you don't get back. But if you, if you put <laughs> something on YouTube yeah. and you have some people who work with you and they're patient enough and yeah. you, sc you screw up, you can get it, you know, you're not, you're not, it's all is not lost. You can just start it again. You're absolutely right. You get it right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. And then, right. And then it can go viral. Yeah. Now, right. let me tell you a story. La two weeks ago, I had a guy in here, an actor named Peter Needham. He was, he's mm -hmm. a local guy. I don't oh, know. yeah, I know him. You know he's Peter? awesome, yeah. Okay, right. we, well, we did a commercial he did, right. a couple weeks ago. That well, was fun. well, listen to this. Today, I'm looking at Facebook. He's in this music video that's already got over 200,000 hits. It's almost a quarter of going up to a million. Oh, that's awesome. So immediately, right here in Easton, we interviewed him. Oh, I'm him. so happy for him. I know, that's I know. Great. So what I did immediately is I attached the, the show to the, to the video. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So that's, so, and I'm, and I'm really good at doing that. I put, whenever I see somebody's accomplished something on Facebook that I've had on the show, mm. I, I immediately say, hey, look, look who's on my show. Look what that's they've awesome. done. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm. Gives I'm, them a boost, gives you a boost. It's perfect. Exa What's that? This gives them a boost, gives you a boost. Exactly, totally. Just, and that, and yeah. I, that's why, that's why I would have been maybe, you know, I mean, you didn't want to share that commercial because you felt you weren't seen, you weren't, you weren't as visible as you, as I saw, as I, you were to me. I knew you immediately that you were there. <laughs> well, I know it, it wasn't. I, it wasn't that I was visible. I just, I'm probably. You were only there I'm, for a couple of seconds. Well, I'm, I'm probably self con self conscious, and yeah. I, I wasn't happy with what I looked like. Probably. Really? I'll well, I'll I'll be honest with you. You feel you feel like you feel you like maybe you don't you don't look as good at times as you'd like to. Yes. Okay. No. With, listen, that's with fine. With what I've with what I've been through in the past few months. Yeah, yeah. Um, my bullshit meter is higher than ever. Okay. And I'm more liable to just if I if there's something I don't want to do, then I won't do it simply. Oh. Okay. Listen, you got to um, do what you got to do what makes you comfortable. Yeah. Okay. No, I totally get that. I mean, that's 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 what you got to do. But it's not, it looks to me like. Slowly but surely, you know, you're making things come. You're making things happen for yourself that that are really impressive, and, and that's you know, 
All right, so, go, so let's get back to your other stuff. What else have you done that we can, that you haven't mentioned that just, you know? Um, well, apart from running my own Princess Party company, you mean? Yep. Well, I mean, we already <laughs> talked do. about that. Well, but I mean, I'm um, just talking about your film projects that you've done. Yes. And your acting as well, or anything, and modeling too. Well, that's fun. Um, I actually got a question just a couple of days ago from a photographer that I worked with last week. Okay. He wrote back to me. He loves the pictures we took. Yep. And he wants to um, do some more photo shoots oh, cool. over the course of maybe a year or so. That's awesome. Come up with a separate theme for each of them and um, end up with a book or a long form narrative. He's going to put you in a book? Yeah. That's just awesome. Him. Just, just him and me. I'll be interested. Oh, right. That's yeah. so cool. And I am very happy with those photos. So I'll show you a few after the show. That's, a, that's, that's great. Yeah, that's wonderful. I'm, I'm, I think are any of them on your Facebook page? I think I shared. I no, shared, not yet. Not I'm yet. Good. Okay. Well, I'll be, I can't wait to see well, him. Well, he's, he's only sent me about seven of them so Do you want far. to name him too? So yes. His name is David Horton. Okay, I've heard he's of him. He's a great photographer. Yes. He okay. has a background in, in um, documentary, I think. And that's that informs his style of photography as well. Okay. We did all natural light. I had no makeup on. Okay. Um, and uh, we used all the windows. We was it was it, all, was it indoors only or outdoors? Yes. Or both? Guess what? We did do a little bit outdoors. Yes. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I had this white dress on. I was barefoot in the snow. I know it was crazy, but it was. Well, if you enjoyed it, listen. You, you got, if you, I mean, Christy Brinkley did it. Why not you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what well, we don't do for our art, hey? Yeah. Exactly. No, I mean, but. Well, I mean, if you felt too cold, then you, you could have said, well, let's, let's wait till, you know, summertime. Yeah. Or let's, <laughs> well, let's use synthetic snow in the studio. <laughs> no, well, he was great. He was great. That, well, that's, that's, that's all yeah. that matters. So I'm looking forward to uh, see where that takes us. I'm sure it'll take you quite, quite a ways. All right. So, all right, so any other film projects or, you know, acting that you've done that you, that, you know, that, that you, that you, and I'm trying to jog your memory? Yeah, well, I have, um, mostly student films okay, that you, are. Where, have you done any at Emerson? No, I have not actually. My most recent project, um, I'm really happy to be um, helping out. A uh, he's only in high school yet. Okay. But he's he's an amazing kid, and I think he's going to go far. Was well, this just the guy that produced the film? No, it's um, yes, he he produces it. It's okay. at the um, Beacon Charter High School for Performing Arts in Rhode Island. Oh, cool. Okay. And uh, I went down for an audition. Um, I got a part in one of his films, and they're doing basically a capstone project at the end of their year. Okay. Um, and this is his project, so he's doing everything by himself. Wow. You he's name he's him? done. He's um, Jonah King is his name. No, nope, don't know him. That's cool. No, well, um, I'll let you know when it's finished. Oh, cool. Yeah, definitely. Can't wait to see it. Yes, absolutely. We're hoping maybe he's going to send it to a few film festivals. We'll see. Okay, send it <laughs> how? You can submit things to film festivals. Oh, good, yeah. That's but it's it's going to be out there on YouTube certainly. Yep. Um, I'm just amazed by this book because when I um, when I first met him and yeah. we started communicating, I thought, okay, he's he's part of this group. Right. Um, but turns out he's doing everything by himself. He's doing the script. He's doing the directing. He's doing the producing. He's doing the line producing. He's doing all the organizing. He's doing the wardrobe. He's doing supervision. He's doing camera work. He's doing everything by himself. Well, he's, he's better, without great subjects like you, he couldn't he couldn't get very far. <laughs> Thank well, you. Actors, well, you're, this isn't modeling; this is acting. You're talking. Yes, okay, yes, well, and that that is my my true like passion, yourself. probably is, is acting. acting. Yeah. Just to be able, I mean, my acting. What I found is my acting informs the modeling really, because sure. what you're doing one way or another with modeling, with still photography, or with acting, with a moving camera, is you're telling a story. Of course. Of course. And that's yep. that's what I want to be able to do to tell a story to help shed light on subjects that I'm passionate about right. or things that I think are wrong, things that I think are right, yeah. that need to be brought to the surface um, and just do amazing things. Sure. And, and, and also your business kind of helps you with that too. Yes, it does. Um, I'm very fortunate to work with kids yeah. and work with families and um, hopefully um, just make a kid's day or make a family's day. Right. And hopefully try to make some amazing memories that yep. they'll cherish for the, for the rest of their lives yep. in pictures and videos. And if I can, just in some small part of that, dress up in a costume, put a wig on, yeah. um, show up and be part of that, then I will. Okay. And you go all over the, you go all over the Boston area to do that? Or yes, I oh, do. Okay. That's great. 
And I assume you're pretty much, you're always in demand for that. You've got a lot of people on you that call you for this, right? Yes, I'm getting more and more calls um, through my business page okay. di directly these days. Yeah. I've got a lot of word of mouth, a lot of recommendations, um, and that's that's okay. very humbling, very honoring. To, it sure is, yeah. To have somebody say, hey, I saw you at this show, and I want you and only you from my party. Wow. That's, that's special. That is special. Do you do magic at all? I do actually. My okay. husband um, taught me some basic magic tricks, okay. and um, I took over his bunny. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> wow, a live bunny. Yes, a real bunny. His name is Magic. But you take you take good care of him. I do. That's great. Well, okay. I try to anyway. Right. Well, I mean, as long as you, <laughs> listen, I mean, he gets angry with me if I don't. <laughs> well, okay, that's the important thing. Is I love animals myself, yeah. and I'm always posting that on Facebook. Mm. You may have noticed. I don't know, but I, that's I care about animals, and I think it's important to take good care of them. And yeah. Know, so it's always, you know, you treat Well, my husband, my, my, uh, my bunny's great. That's, that's um, awesome. And, and some people say, you know, oh, you shouldn't use bunnies in magic shows and things like well, that. But, you, but you, can, you can tell with their body language if they're happy, if they're unhappy. Yeah, and if you don't have to leave them all, you, you just Yes, and he's, um, he's very happy. It's, it's his favorite thing to be petted by little kids. If he wants, he enjoys it. There's, there's yeah, nothing he wrong does. with that. He enjoys it. He feels safe. Um, and that's, that's all I care about. Well, listen, Beatrice, guess what? We're, on the, we're in the final five minutes of the show. Wow. Yeah, I know. We made it go by. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what I'm going to ask you to do in the remaining time is to give shouts out to people that are going to see it because a lot of people are. Okay? <laughs> so go for it. And then um, just condense them and then we'll, then we'll yes. wrap it up. I want to do a shout out to my parents. I talked to on, on FaceTime from Sweden just earlier today. They helped me got th get through a lot of difficult stuff. I would not be here without them. Um, I thank you too then. Yes. Okay. And to... Um, my friends and family here. I've been getting, going through a lot of difficult times recently. Yeah. Um, to everybody who's helped me yeah, get through. Yeah. Okay. Well. To my amazing agent. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Go get him, Darlene. There you go. Um, you say agent, you have more than one. No. A Darlene is my Dar agent. She's your agent. Yes. But she has, but I'm exclusive with her in uh, New England and in New York. Okay. Okay, so she, she covers all, she covers New England and New York. Yes, that's okay. true. Okay. Do you have any plans in the, in the near future to travel? I mean, I know you, you I, I think I may have asked this before, mm. but do you have any plans to travel like to New York or LA or anywhere else? To well, I have a photographer who wants to, can't wait to shoot with me again. He's in New York. Oh, yes. Okay. Or I might that's bring him up here before? to visit. No. Oh, it's a different one. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have a lot of people want to work with me. I know. That's great. <laughs> I mean, that, that's, that's, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. And I have um, a couple of friends who live in LA who are saying, when are you coming to LA? I'm saying, yeah, when the bank allows it. <laughs> well, the bank will allow it. I mean, you just keep doing what you're doing. You can't, you can't go wrong between your business and all the other stuff. You're on your way. Yeah, I, I, well, yeah, things, things are difficult, like I said. I know that, I know. But, but I, mean, know, I think it's, we, I think we, we talked about it we earlier. We did, we did. We did. So what I want, yeah, so what you need to, so just, you know, take, to, don't, don't, don't push anything. Just don't rush anything. And people know that. People that know you know know all about that. Yeah. Okay. And you just got to be, you know, just, just do what you got to just take it, take it with a grain of salt as best you can, because you're going to, because you're going to, you know, you're going to be fine. And I know, you know, I know it's not always easy. Believe me. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I get that. You're doing great. And I, and I'm, and I'm, and, I, and I'm sitting here looking at you today. I, I can tell that, that whatever, you know, whatever, whatever the problems you're going through, you're going to, you're going to feel that eventually you're still going to you're going to be the conqueror of all. Well, I hope so. I mean, it's 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 been. Let's, I know. I know. Let's let's just conquer the elephant in the room. Exactly. Um, my husband passed away on September first right. of last year, yep, yep. which is about less than six months ago. Yeah. Um, but and without him, I mean, if he was still alive, I would give him a shout out. I understand. He's up there I, I somewhere know, I know. looking after me. Um. And it's for him that I keep going. Of course, and you know what? I think my hunch is that he knows somehow that you that you that you're there for him and everything. I'd and like to think so. Okay. Well, listen. Um, I know. I know. It's you know. It's been a little difficult. We try to make it as ha you know happy for you as we can. Yeah. You, thank are you. you. Are you ready? Are you? I hope you had. A, I know. In spite of everything, I hope you had a good time with me tonight. Yes, I had a great time. Thank you very much. You, thank you. Are you ready? You want to you know do the music again? Yes. Again? Okay. Absolutely. Let's Folks, do this. Thanks very much for watching another great episode of Topic Time. See you next time. Have a good one.